why I stopped eating lots of spinach and kale. Hey there, today I want to share a personal journey that led me to reevaluate my diet and make some thyroid friendly changes. I used to load up on spinach and kale thinking those were superfoods for my thyroid. But little did I know that these leafy greens contain something called oxalate and thallium, which can affect thyroid health. Oxalates are naturally occurring compounds found in certain foods, including spinach and kale, also sweet potatoes and nuts. While they have some health benefits, excessive consumption can be problematic for those with thyroid issues. Oxalates can hinder the absorption of vital nutrients like calcium and magnesium, which are essential for thyroid function. Now, let's explore thallium. Thallium is a trace mineral, a trace metal that can accumulate in leafy greens, including spinach and kale from soil and water. High exposure to thallium has been linked to thyroid disturbances among other health concerns. And while the levels of thallium in food are generally low, regular consumption of thallium-containing foods can still add up over time. So after learning about the potential impact of oxalates and thallium, and also seeing the level of oxalates in my organic acid test, that checks urine for the presence of, I incorporated a wide variety of nutrient-rich vegetables, fruits, and proteins into my meals. I found that cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower are excellent choices for thyroid health if they're prepared properly, which means steaming or cooking them to decrease the amount of goitrogen, as they also contain lower levels of oxalates. Additionally, I explored other green leafy vegetables like Swiss chard and collard greens, which offer a variety of nutrients without the same oxalate concerns. It's all about finding a balanced and thyroid-friendly approach to nutrition. Everybody is unique, and what works for one person may not be suitable for another. So if you're experiencing thyroid issues or simply want to optimize your thyroid health, Consider changing your diet and adding more nutrient-rich vegetables and some fruits to your diet, and also checking your urine with organic acid test for the presence of oxalate. The other thing that I didn't mention is that oxalates could be high from the candida overgrowth in the gut. So making sure that you don't have any fungal overgrowth or yeast overgrowth is beneficial to also manage the issues with oxalates. There are some supplements that can be helpful in breaking down the oxalates. If you eat buckets of spinach or kale or other foods that are very high in oxalate content, it will be very hard to mitigate that damage. Mold exposure also can increase oxalates in your body. So being mindful of exposures, environmental screening, doing different types of testing may help you see what's your weak spot. Let's continue on our journey towards vibrant thyroid health. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, please post them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more valuable insights and thyroid-friendly tips. Until next time, bye.